Here's a look at Symbol Wizards, a new feature of the 2014 Wonderwear release. Symbol Wizards are designed to make managing and maintaining your graphic libraries easier. They will help both the application builder in finding the symbols he needs and the developer in maintaining the symbols of custom libraries and developing the standards needed. In the past, there were two ways that custom symbols and custom libraries were made. One was an uber symbol, you might call it, which was one symbol that contained all the options that you would ever need. It was very dynamic, and it only left one symbol in your library, but it was also very heavy when it came to runtime performance. The other option was what's seen here, is where for every permutation there's a new symbol stored in the library, so there's a lot to sort through. The idea of symbol wizards will condense all of those library symbols into one symbol wizard. That wizard would be a light that had two options that you would configure in your symbol editor. Bezel thickness for either light, medium, or thick, or color for one of the five colors that you've seen. One quick note to make, this is a selection of our Kester symbol library graphics. If you happen to be using these lights from a 2012 release, don't worry, they're not changing in 2014. This is just to illustrate the concept. Where symbol wizards are implemented in 2014 is in the situational awareness library. Let's take a look. Here's an example of how the symbol wizard is implemented in 2014 with a situational awareness meter. This is part of the new situational awareness library that's available in 2014. If you want to learn more about that, check out some of our other videos. In this example, the center meter represents the wizard that's stored in the library, and all the different meters around it are different selections from that same wizard. The eight options that you see around it aren't stored individually in the library, just the center wizard. Now this starts to sound a lot like that uber symbol that we talked about before, which could be very heavy and carried all the options possible. The difference is that at runtime, only the options that you selected that are needed to run for that particular permutation of this meter are sent and deployed to your computer. So the performance burden is still very light for every individual graphic. While your library continues to stay organized by only storing the one symbol wizard. Now we'll look at an example of how to use symbol wizards in the 2014 release. Anytime you created a new symbol, either through the graphic toolbox or you connected it to an object and system platform, when you open the Orchestra Canvas and use a graphic from the Situational Awareness Library, you'll probably be using a symbol wizard. From your Orchestra Canvas, you'll go up to this button, Embed a Graphic, and you'll notice you still have the Orchestra Symbol Library, and just to make the point, all those lights that we just looked at, they're still there. Here they are because the Orchestra Symbol Library is still as it was in the previous releases. To use Symbol Wizards, you'll go to the Situational Awareness Library. Here we'll select a meter and embed it into our graphic on the canvas. And you'll notice a couple of things. One is now you have this Wizard Options section available. And this is what you'll use to make selections based on what you want this particular meter to look at but you won't have to go back to the library to pick a different meter if you want it to be a horizontal meter or a temperature meter or a flow meter. The other thing you should notice is custom properties. Down here you, we started with six properties. As we make more selections, these properties will change. And this is one of the indications showing you that only the desired selections will be sent to runtime and deployed. So using the wizard is pretty intuitive. You go to the options when you're selected the meter. You can change the type from temperature to flow or level. And you'll notice you'll get a slightly different look on your meter. You can change the orientation. You can also decide whether you want the label, whether you want engineering units, whether you want your numerical value to display. Now notice you can change the mode of this symbol from basic to advanced. And this will enable even more wizard options. Now you can enable some alarm limits, and then you choose which ones you want. Maybe I only want a high and a low alarm limit to show. Maybe I want to show an optimal range. And as we've changed that, you've noticed not only changes here, but if we go down to our custom properties, 
Now we have 10 custom properties. Several of them have to do with the optimal range that we added. We could change that here, or you can change it at runtime when you embed it into an InTouch window. You'll also notice that there are now properties for the alarm limits that we enabled, but only the two that we selected, only the high and the low. Also, you might want to note that several of these custom properties are auto-filled using the me.pv property. This is part of Situational Awareness Library. So to learn more about that, check out our other videos again. Now I'll save this symbol and show you some differences when you instance the symbol. To illustrate the point further, here's my InTouch window and I've embedded two graphics. One is the default symbol from the Situational Awareness Library and one is the symbol that we just customized. Each of them carries different custom properties that are needed in their runtime conditions based on what we selected. In the first one, you'll notice this one has the label and is a flow meter, and it carries the five or six custom properties that were the standard for the library symbol. In contrast, the one week has a few more properties, but only the ones that we selected. This is again to keep in mind, symbol wizards enable you to condense your libraries, but still keep good performance at runtime. So that's a quick overview of Symbol Wizards as part of the 2014 release of Wonderware System Platform. If you're interested for advanced users, you'll also have the option of creating your own Symbol Wizards to help maintain your library. It will take some planning before you get started, but it's certainly available, and we hope you will take advantage of the new features.